What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add floating emotes to your stream. This will take the emotes that your chatters type into the chat and it'll float up on the screen just as you saw it there. So let's get into it. Um, this is uh, from Stream Elements. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an overlay added from Stream Elements. Uh, but if you do use Stream Labs, you can use it as well. You just have to take the browser uh, extension or browser um, uh, URL and add that to your stream. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So let's get started. All right, so assuming that you're signed into Stream Elements, click on My Overlays, create blank overlay. Uh, now you can name this anything you want. Give it a mode. Submit. Now you want to click on edit, go to overlay editor. Takes you to this blank screen here. Click on widgets. Now this widget is called Capigen. Capigen widget allows you to take emotes from chat on your stream. Click add and it takes you to here. So these are all the different settings on the left here that you can have for the Capigen widget. Uh, you can use the entire screen for the emotes, enable seasonal hats. Uh, emote sizes, so you can change the sizes. The chat emotes, so you can have them off. This is this tab here, chat emotes. You can have them off, on to show all, which is what I have. Now in this section, uh, the animation section, you can have them bubble up, zoom, blur, bounce, that sort of thing. Uh, so you can play around with those. My favorite one is the bubble. I'll show you that again in a second. And you can enable the emojis too. So if people put smiley faces um, and then other emojis in there, you can have those in there as well. Uh, you can have, if you're a bigger streamer, you can have subscriber only, um, uh, subscriber only, uh, subscribers only to activate the emotes. And you can add custom emotes, unlimited emotes per user. So you can you can you can change the the settings there. And then emote duration on screen. So however long they're floating up for this is automatically set to five seconds. Uh, and then if we go to on combo mode, this is meant for, I believe, if you're a bigger streamer. So the, the different settings here shows emote when five of that emote were posted within five seconds. So it kind of slows it down. And then again, you can play with the uh, emoji section, subscribers only, that sort of thing. And last but not least, the emote explosions. So this, this is really cool. So if someone follows, subscribes, tips, cheers, hosts, or raids, um, according to the default here, 400 of the emotes will show up on screen. It's really, really cool. It's, it adds a really fun element to your stream. All right, so once you're happy with all the settings here, please hit save. Uh, and then hit launch. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to copy this URL right here. Copy this URL right there. Now we're going to go over to OBS and I'll show you how it works. All right, so now that you're back in OBS, you want to add the widget, this brand new widget into your stream. So in the sources section, you want to hit the plus sign browser create new you can name it whatever you want again oats paste that URL that you got from stream stream elements paste it in there and hit OK now you're gonna see the, the box up here you can resize it I'll just show you in a second once I get out of this screen So now that we're back into our actual stream, you can resize it. Now you may need to resize it from stream elements as well. That'll be in the position size and style section in that same widget section uh, of the editor that we were just in. So you can resize it there. Now I always like to lock, lock them just so it doesn't show up there. Um, now let's try it out. So I have, these are the only two emotes I have right now. 
And there you go. So those are a little bit big for my liking, but it gives you a great idea of what they look like. I like to have them, them quite small. I think, let me see, see if I can edit it here. I have stream elements open in another window. So if I make it around 50 pixels, hit save. Put these emotes back in and hit chat. There we go, that's more of my size. That, that looks perfect. All right, so that's it. So if you guys have any questions or if you think I missed something, please let me know. Um, if you do have Stream Labs, I don't think Stream ha Labs has this uh, function yet. Uh, but what you can do is you can still just sign in to Stream Elements, take that same uh, URL and paste that into Stream Labs the same way we did here. So good luck. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. If this video helped you out at all, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to hang out on Twitch, I stream pretty much every day on Twitch. All my links and everything are down below. Thank you guys. Have a great day.